What's up you guys, it's Ness, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about a lens that I feel like everybody should have if you're doing fashion, beauty, food, any kind of detail work, you should have this lens, and that lens is... So it's next day, and I realized I didn't like the intro for yesterday's video, so I just wanted to show you guys the Sony 90mm G informally. I didn't do it any justice, so this is what it looks like. All right, all right, Sony 90mm G. Back to the video. I love about this lens is just the amount of detail that you get out of it. The only thing that I don't like is um, how like it kind of focuses slow because this is using um, Sony's old focusing technology. Nonetheless, it is really sharp and it's not that expensive. If you're getting into beauty or you're getting into fashion or anything where you want to show some detail, this is exactly what you want to, you know what I'm saying? This is what you want to use. So yeah. Here's some shots that I got with this, B-roll wise and photography wise. So check it out. So some of the pros of shooting with this lens for me is that it's really sharp, can get what I need when I needed to get it. Is that, if that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? You can get really close up on that subject. Boy, you show sure is ugly. He's an ugly boy. You know what I'm saying? A certain type of bob. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Get yourself a 90, man. Very nice, very nice. Back to normal, because this is almost like, it's almost X-rated. Uh, a con with that, though, is that you need a tripod. You know what I'm saying? You want to have a tripod because your hand is, all those micro movements, like even when you're pressing the shutter, um, you're gonna need a tripod for that. The glass on the lens is amazing. Like, it's, it's really sharp, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, 90 millimeter G. If you do beauty, you're gonna love this lens because the amount of things you can pull out of this lens in terms of like just detail and, you know, specifically, and then the depth of field and oh my God, this thick of, oh my God. It's 90 millimeter G or any macro lens, you get what I'm saying? You could also get the Canon version, but right now we're talking about the Sony version. I love like using native lenses on like the body it's intended for. I don't like to mix and match too much. Even though some of those combinations are great combinations, but just me personally, I just like blow for blow, apples to apples, boom, boom, you feel me? Same brands, make sense? Yeah. You know, I've been needing something to uh, capture the detail that I want. When I was, you know, shooting beauty before, I would always go to my 7200, you know what I'm saying? But before I even had my 7200, I was using my 90. So it's kind of made me, made me go back and, and start, you know, picking up this lens and actually appreciating what it can do. So, you know, I just felt the need to share that with you guys, cause you know what I'm saying? Somebody's always asking what I'm using and you know, I wanna start giving you guys more in de depth, more in depth, more in depth reviews on, you know, equipment. I've had this lens finished since I first started photography. Hasn't been that long, it's only been like three years. Anytime I needed that, like a different kind of shot or more detail, I always go with this lens. It's like a Swiss Army knife. And I love how it goes from manual to autofocus by just like, you know what I'm saying? Sliding that up, it's fire, it's dope. I don't see too many lenses do that, you know what I'm saying? Normally they have the little button on the side, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying no, I'm saying a lot. But yeah, 90, great. Fire. Well, that's all I had to say on this lens, really, for today. Appreciate you guys for watching, and I'm really trying to commit to this, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you thumbs up, show me, give me some feedback, and uh, you know what I mean? Post some more video, post some videos that you would like to see from me or some topics that you would like to see from me below in the comments. And I'm definitely gonna make those videos. That's it. You know what I mean, I'm uh I'm about to go do something productive.